The Freedmen Bureau by Sarah Borwaller and Ossia Alley. The Freedmen Bureau was also known as the Bureau of Refugees, Freedmen, and Abandoned Lands. It was established on March 3, 1865, after two years of bitter debate. It was to address all matters concerning refugees and freedmen within the states that were under reconstruction. The Bureau didn't get a budget of its own, but it instead commissioned as a subsidiary of the War Department and depended upon it for funds and staff. In the beginning, the Freedmen's Bureau did not suffer from lack of funding. The Bureau sold and rented lands in the South which had been confiscated during the war. However, President Johnson returned all lands to the pre-Civil War owners in 1866. After that, freed slaves lost access to lands and the Bureau lost its primary source of funding. Many historians believe that the Bureau had a very small impact, if any at all, on the freedmen. Lack of funds, weak organization of the Bureau's internal structure, and opposition from conservatives were some reasons for the Bureau's failure. The advocates of the Freedmen's Bureau had intentions to help the African American population prosper as freedmen. Lack of funding and support from the federal government in conjunction with opposition at the local level tempered with the Bureau's success.